Now we get to seat a bullet on top of our charged cases. This is finally going to make it look like a finished product. Before we start seating our bullets, we want to make sure that there's actually powder in every case. So what we're going to do is just visually inspect every one to make sure that there's powder inside and that the level looks pretty uniform all the way across. You can use a flashlight, you can use an overhead light, it doesn't matter as long as you can see inside and verify that there's powder in there. Now that we have our 10 charged cases, I picked out 10 projectiles that we're going to load. And once again, on the single stage press, we now have our bullet seating die on here. Uh, this isn't really a video on setting up dies. I'll make another series on that later. But uh, the die setup, just follow the manufacturer's instructions. It's pretty simple. You basically uh, just screw the die in until it touches the ram, back the ram off, put it in another quarter turn. And then from there, we're going to back the seating stem off and lower this down until we get the desired overall length that we're looking for. If you remember in our loading manual, the overall length for this was a suggested of 2.200 inches, so that's what we're going to shoot for. Uh, so you're going to need to get some calipers for this. Uh, once again, I'll use my Hornady analog gauge for this. All right, let's begin. I'm going to take a charge case with a bullet. I'm going to seat it and raise the ram. Now, I did not feel any tension at all on that, so our seating stem is going to be way out. I'm sure it didn't even do anything. Yeah. So now we can turn our seating stem in a few turns until our bullet starts to get seated inside the case. Alright, so now you can see we have a bullet seated in the case, but we're way off from where we need to be. So we're going to continue to size down. We're getting closer. Now this bullet actually has a cantilever on it. You can see it, the crimp groove. 2.20 inches should give us the case mouth right around the cantilever. So I know we still have a ways to go. Alright, we're getting close and I'm just going to measure it just to see where we're at. Right now we are at 2.295. Once you get this set, you can just repeat the process on all the other cases, but for the first time using the die, you've got to get your overall length dialed in. So we're getting closer. Once you get closer to your desired length, you want to just slowly make increments, because if you go too far, you're going to have to pull the bullet. Okay, you can see now we're getting very close. Alright, we're very close now, so I'm going to take our measurements. Once again, we're aiming for 2.20. We're at 2.236. Alright, we're getting very close. 2.223. 2.219. Slowly getting there. Like I said, I'd rather take my time and get it right instead of having to pull a bullet. Alright, 2 2.213. 2.208. Alright, we're very close now. So we'll just barely turn it. 2.206. Alright, 2.204. So this small turn, we should be right where we want to be. 2.201. So we're right there, just a little bit turn. 2.203. Alright, we're right where we need to be. So now that we have our seating die set up so that it's seating to the right length, we would just repeat this process for the rest of the charged cases. Um, there is one more step after this, and it's actually crimping the bullet. Now there's some controversy on whether you should crimp a rifle case or not and I'm not going to get into that but uh, my way of doing it is if it is a bolt gun I don't worry too much about the crimp. If it is a semi-automatic gun or a tube fed gun uh, you know like a, a lever action you definitely want to put a crimp on it and the reason for that is without a crimp you can get bullets set back when it's feeding and that can cause excessive pressure. So 
since these are going to be loaded for an AR, I am going to put a crimp on it. Now, it is going to be a very, very, very minor crimp. Um, so we will cover that in the next video. So here it is at the correct overall length. You can see the case mouth is right in the middle of the can allure. So I'm going to repeat this for the rest of these. And the next video we'll move on to crimping.